Hi, mister. Have you seen... And that's why what you just witnessed is not worth sharing with the police or any legal guardian. Got a little guy? Anyway, my name's Albert Butler. I'm the groundskeeper here at Diamond Stadium. Used to be called Alfred Butler, but I had it changed because I was sick of all the Batman jokes. Who's Batman? Wow, I, I thought I'd be relieved hearing someone say that. But no, I'm actually kind of insulted. How dare you? Hey, wait, I know you. You're the guy who was waving to me while I was flying over the stadium. <laughs> yeah, sorry for almost killing you. I promise that wasn't intentional. That was you? Holy smokes! I never would have guessed! But why would you fly that thing all the way out here? Hmm, well, it's a pretty long story. So maybe it's best I answer your question with a flashback. Flashback? How is that supposed to work? Welcome to the Thorndike residence. One yesterday ago. Oh my god! What happened to the stadium? Why can't I move? What did you do to me? You interrupted! Our story begins as many great stories do with everyone's bestest friend, TV! I demand entertainment! I've done enough for you little shits, so I say you do something for me for a change! I want you to dance! Dance! Dance, puppets! Dance! He's very terrifying. Yup, enjoy the nightmares, buddy. Hey, who's ready for food? I got food, food time, food! Wow, thanks, Ella! Oh, you should give your thanks to little Amy for this one. This kid's got a real knack for cooking. I think we might be looking at the next insert notable celebrity chef name here. Here. I even got to use my own special ingredients for Sonic's pie. Oh no. Sonic can have the next one. My tummy wants the yummy. No! No, no, you don't want that one. Hands off! <laughs> Ow. A purple overlord! He's trapped in the loud, staticky realm of audiovisual violation! And I didn't get to finish my dance for him. <laughs> Where's Rick Ryan? Who did it? Who hurt her? Who do I gotta punch? Uh. Tails, I guess? He was knocked into the TV and now we don't have a signal. What kind of monster am I become? Oh. Well, if it's a TV issue, it's probably just Eggman. He used to cut our cable all the time back home for shits and giggles. So maybe he's getting back into some old habits. That's a joke, right? Considering everything I've seen Eggman do, he doesn't seem like the type to resort to some- Mrs. John, I got a message for you, Mrs. Mitchell! Ready for Bye Bye Camera Threat number 28? 28?! Nice! Two more and we get a Mean Bean coupon! By the way, this dude usually rigs his messages with explosives, so might wanna... <laughs> Hello, Mr. TV. I don't feel like pressing the button. Can you please thank you? Alright, let's cut right to the chase. Yes, I cut your cable once again. I'll kill him! But there's a twist this time around! Behold! <laughs> Say hello to E90 Super Sweeper. This bad boy is currently munching on all the tasty satellites floating above the stratosphere. You're not the only one losing their TV privileges today, Sonic! <laughs> uh, you know the drill. The price for restoring the world's cable is one Chaos Emerald. Please deliver the payment at your earliest convenience. In the meantime, I'll be entertaining the people of Earth with a collection of programs everyone appreciates. Insurance commercial starring over you, some funny mascot! <laughs> you monster! Haven't the people of this world suffered enough at the hands of Flow from Progressive? Whoa, you got sick of Flow from Progressive that quick? Actually, that's not as far fetched as it sounds. Tornado time! Come on, Tails! Kill him! So, uh, I know we're supposed to be enemies and stuffs, but I haven't had much to eat today. Yes, robots can eat, and I'm a robot, don't question it. Could I grab a snack before I go? You like pie? Let's sweep that super sweeper! Yeah! Strong beer! Here we come! Do they not know planes can't fly above the stratosphere? Oh my god! Planes can fly above the stratosphere! You're a pilot! And you didn't know planes can't fly above the stratosphere! Ah, uh, no. No, I did not. 
Haunted Mansion. Oh, and it's nighttime now. Me. How are you doing this? Do we have a new plan ready to go yet? I'm worried the longer we take stopping Super Sweeper, the worse of an effect those commercials will have on the others. We are farmers. What are you wearing, on State Farm? Honestly, Amy doesn't sound all that different to me. Well, it's not our plan of attack that needs to change, Grandpa. Not your Grandpa? It's the tornado. Its engine just isn't strong enough to reach an altitude that high. I could upgrade the engine to have it run on a stronger power source, but the only thing we have that's strong enough to do the job is the Chaos Emerald. Don't you dare take that emerald away from me, you two-tailed freak! Uh, I mean, why did you say that like it's a bad thing? Have you never powered the tornado using an emerald before? Oh no, I have. Once. Didn't go well. I went a flight. <laughs> and I was so close to reaching the highest of all the heavens. Not sure why I didn't ask this when you were on fire or had that hammer pierced through your skull, but how? Your guess is as good as mine, kid. I've been barking up that tree for years and he still hasn't told me shit. He's that committed to protecting the secret of his immortality? No, he just conveniently does his off whenever someone asks him about it. What? Oh, sorry, I was dozing off. Anyway, the plane exploded because the emerald was channeling too much energy into the engine. If we want to fly on emerald power, we need to add a bigger engine that could burn off all that excess energy. But the tornado isn't strong enough to carry an engine that big. Then why don't we build a new tornado? A bigger, faster, one-of-a-kind, limited-edition, anime-exclusive tornado! Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We don't have enough space or resources to build a whole new plane. Oh, but you forget, Tails. I'm a scientist. And what's a scientist? Without a secret laboratory! This is perfect! We can build a tornado ten times bigger than the original here. Uh oh, is that a challenge? No, it's just an estimation. I don't think it's a good idea to make a competition out of this. We gotta save TV, after all. Okay, what's your deal? Are you supposed to be smart or dumb? You can't be both, so pick- Suit up. Plane's done. Grandpa, would you care to do the honor? Still not your grandpa! Anyway, here you go. <gasps> How long have you had this underground- Don't ruin the moment! Allow me to introduce- Tornado X! Eh, that name sucks. All you did was slap an X after the end of what we called the old plane. Not creative at all, just lazy. Ow. Ah. Uh, X Tornado? Perfect! <laughs> now let's go save television. Yay! X Tornado? Stop being on the ground now! I wanna fly back so I can reach the highest of all the heavens. You're really okay with letting your grandson tag along for a fight at the edge of space? In an untested plane? Oh, don't worry. I convinced Tails to add seatbelts this time. The f*** are seatbelts? Dr. Eggman, it appears Sonic is approaching E-90 Super Sweeper in a sick new aircraft. Whoa, it looks just like a red dot. Well, it's about time. I did an entire day after launching my attack, no less. I thought you said he left right after you delivered the message, Bokoon. What happened to the pie? I thought, oh, right, I forgot to do this floaty thing with Mr. TV. Click. Super Sweeper, increase altitude. Let's see how high this new toy of theirs can go. We'll take out the vacuum first. Ready, Sonic? You know it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 no. Ah! Uh, Tails, think we can get a do-over on that entrance? I believe in you. Tails. Oh, don't feel bad, Sonic. I thought that entrance was perfect. Eat up, Super Sweeper! Huh? <laughs> oh, holy fell for it. Speed bears! Go for it, buddy! Wait, no, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for the distraction, Sonic. Now let's Come finish back. this with a ring and head home. Uh, Tails? I don't think we should be flying this thing much farther out into space. Why not? With the Chaos Emerald, we can fly as far as you want. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, is it the no Please. oxygen thing? That's never been a problem for us. He's all good out there. Also not my... Okay, I'll have questions <sighs> about that later. And the lack of gravity isn't an issue either, since we just choose to ignore it. Scratch that! I need those questions answered now, please. Look, there's no need to worry, Chris. None of the obstacles your people usually deal with in space are enough to stop Sonic. Even the freezing temperatures? Except the freezing temperatures. All right. <laughs> Seriously, dude, smart or dumb, pick one. I'm getting some serious magic school bus flashbacks here! 
Oh, All weapons online! Eliminate the enemy aircraft at once! <laughs> the hatch is frozen shut too! I can't release the ring! Well, what are we supposed to do now that the laws of physics finally caught up with you guys? Oh! I got it! Attach the ring to the yellow wire under my seat. It'll channel the energy into the engine and Sonic can absorb its power from the fumes. So even the fumes aren't affected by the lack of gravity? Mast off! Oh, right! <sighs> <laughs> we now return to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Time to start planning threat number 29. Gotta say, it is fascinating how they keep making this year after year and never decide to make them funny! I for one blame the gecko. I'm pretty sure he's the one who started all this. Wait, what the fuck? While we emerged victorious and the world's television service was restored, State and Square service was still down for some reason. The mystery deepened even further, and with Sonic needing time to recover from being a headsickle, it was up to me to embark on a new quest in my brand new X-Tornado to save television. And that quest led me to... <laughs> Flashback's over. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favor, subscribe, and go to the Patreons. You know, all I asked was what brought you to the stadium. Could have saved a bunch of time by just saying you were looking into the cable outage. I didn't need an in-depth backstory for your fancy plane. I like that story. And I didn't mean to fly over the stadium. I was heading for the cable company across the street. But then the Chaos Emerald started acting up and I lost control. Oh, that's a Chaos Emerald? Well, little fella, you should have led with that from the start. Oh my gosh, no, please don't do that thing with it. Oh, it's just another Chaos Emerald. Chaos Emerald! Yeah, I found it here a few nights back. And now do I think about it, if these things affect electric thingamajigs as much as you say they do, maybe this one is what's been messing with the cave. <laughs> Oh, we probably shouldn't have held the emeralds that close together for so long. That tends to happen when... You know, I should probably get that thing out of here before Eggman... Too late, Hightail! Oh, no! It's Eggman! Um, you seem oddly prepared for a battle at a baseball stadium. What? You think I knew there'd be an emerald here? No! Me and the boys were already in town when we saw that light. Looking for a new place to practice before the season starts. Hey, I will let you run in the basement playing video games all day! This is good for you! Anyways, uh... Chaos Emerald, give me that! Oh yeah! Thanks for protecting me, kid. You're a real hero. <laughs> <laughs> One down. Now I assume you won't let me take that other emerald without a fight, right, Tail? <laughs> Doesn't this kid know how to spin dash and wreck my robots like Sonic? What the hell happened to him? What? Son of the Light, heard the scream, you're welcome. Yay, Knuckles! <sighs> well, at least one of you hasn't lost their touch. But you're too late! The Emerald is mine and you're vastly outnumbered! I'm afraid you're wrong on the outnumbered part, Eggman. Don't worry. You'll be wrong about the Emerald part too real soon. Hmm. Looks like your whole team is here to play ball now. You got that right! Now how about we make things a little interesting? We are at a baseball stadium after all, so let's settle this with a game right here and now. Our team against yours and winner goes home with both emeralds. What do you say, Eggman? Nah, 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 nah. I got an emerald. <laughs> So we're not going to play baseball? Do you really think Eggman would have given us the emerald if we won? Wow, okay, that's a good point. Oh, come on! It would have been awesome! Just imagine the cartoony mayhem of you guys- It ain't happening, Chuck. Face it, no one here wants to play ball. I'll play. Yeah, who am I kidding? This is stupid. Let's trash these fools. Hold on, you never oh. made me-